everybody. It's Mom H with Honey Hollow Homestead. All right, yeah, I got my stocking hat on, toque, whatever you want to call it. It's like, it's a little chilly today, and there's a wind blowing, and this covers my ears. So, anyways, uh, as you all know, uh, this country's been going through some disasters. Uh, Hurricane Helena, Hurricane Milton, uh, Hurricane Debbie. Uh, now they're look, they're keeping an eye on Hurricane. Well, I don't think she's a hurricane yet, but uh, uh, Nadine. So anyway, uh, need to say I am not able to go and be any physical help to any of these disaster areas. Um, the uh, disasters happened at a bad time for me. I can't even help out, you know, monetarily right now. Uh, when I have it, I share it. Um, but if I don't have it, I can't share it. So right now, at this time, I can't. And I, I'm sorry, but I do pray for them. Anyway, uh, one of the constant things I've been hearing about is water. Now, I can't do anything about what has already happened and situations, circumstances that, have, that are current. But I wanted to point something out um, for the future. Okay, um, I've been following several YouTubers that have been... Excuse me, my dear, I'm trying to record a video and you're not helping. You're noisy. There's always one that's mouthy. Anyway, try and talk over her. The, one of the biggest struggles that they've had, especially homesteads, farms, is getting water to the livestock. Most of the people were dependent on uh, either wells, which require a, a pump and electricity to run the pump, or they are dependent on a community water supply, uh, and the community water supplies were compromised, uh, so they didn't have access to that water. Um, and I just wanted to put this out for anyone who currently has a homestead and or run a farm and you think you're in a safe area hey disasters can happen anywhere anytime we have no idea okay um but i think it's a good idea to put in a rain catchment system for those of you who have been following my uh, my videos, my channel, you know that that's how I water my livestock. Right behind me here, that's a 550-gallon tank, and it's fed by um, this, what is that, 20 by 20, uh, thir no, 20 by 30 roof on my barn. It, it fills the... 250 gallon tank, 550 gallon tank, and also the overflow also runs into a 225 gallon uh, IBC tote, which you can get these uh, tarps. Um, it's a it's a cover that is specifically designed for IBC totes. You can get them on Amazon, um, or you can paint them or what have you. I've got one tote up there that's painted. Uh, the problem with painting them is that the, um, the paint tends to wear off uh, any kind of a, anything that scratches it, branch, anything, chickens, you know, um, that's the problem with paint. Hey, Gertrude, Gertrude's over there. Uh, anyway, um, so this is the big, biggest expense besides the gutters, which you can get, um, buy them in Lowe's and Home Depot, um, already, um, you know, formed. 
uh, I had a company come in here and do the, the gutters for, for my barn. Um, but I got, I was able to get uh, secondhand uh, gutters that I put up uh, behind the goat barn uh, on my own uh, cabin. Um, and I haven't, I've got uh, two corners of my cabin, not two, three corners of my cabin that are feeding into uh, IBC totes. I've got one corner that I haven't got a tank for yet. Um, my chicken coop has a small gutter. I need to redo that. Um, it's just a short piece. Um, that fills a tank. Uh, I've got two barrels behind the goat barn. I got gutters on there and that feeds uh, the two barrels and that's how I'm feeding the, the um, right now the water's running into the buck barn where I have my six little girls. This is on well, the, the 550 gallon tank. There's a pipe running underground or hose running underground, okay, to the tank, the, the water trough on a, a lower grade, okay, and it's automatic, it's gravity fed. No electricity whatsoever required, okay? So all the uh, the roofs are on high and they feed low, okay? So my system is gravity fed and the only time I have to worry about um, water is during a drought, okay? And that's why the more uh, storage capacity I have, the less likely I'm going to have um, having a problem with providing water for my livestock. Uh, they all know where the, where the sources are. Everything is, has a, an automatic valve um, so that I just have to check it from time to time to make sure it's functioning properly. You know, a hose can get pinched or what have you. Uh, the only time, another time that it would be a problem is in the uh, winter uh, when the temperatures are below freezing. Um, we don't have a long winter with the below freezing temperatures typically around here. It's mostly mild, um, but there's things you can do uh, to um, compensate for that. You know, insulation, uh, making sure that your, your water line runs uh, below, um, below the frost line, and that depends on where you are. So if you don't already have a rain catchment system set up for your little farm or your little homestead or a bigger setup, hey Georgie, my sheep, um, I highly recommend doing it even if it's, if you don't hardly use it um, and you never have to use it, it's a good backup system. You know, you can store the, so long as you have it covered and protected from the, from the sunlight, then, you know, it'll last for a while and then you have water, okay? So that if a disaster happens, even if it's just temporary, you don't have to worry about your, your livestock uh, not having water and having to um, carry buckets of water to your livestock. That's hard, been there, done that. Hey, I've even melted ice inside my cabin in order to provide water for my livestock. So anyway, I just want to put this out there. Um, I can't do anything about what has already happened, but maybe, you know, this little insight might help somebody in the future. You know, it doesn't take much. You can use 55 gallon drums. You can do the, the IBC totes or you can buy a larger tank and just, you know, if you have it, if you can put it at the higher level, above a level that um, where your livestock is, it can be gravity fed with hoses, um, those uh, black plastic pipes that come in a big roll, you know, you set it up and you can have it um, on a valve so that an automatic valve so that you don't even have to lug buckets okay it'll fill the tanks automatically and you don't need a huge tank unless you're you're um, watering a, a large amount of, um, of livestock if you have a small amount of livestock you only need a small shallow tank a 
not tank, uh, water trough, okay? For the the uh, the buck barn, I have a little a little bucket. It's what maybe a gallon, okay? And that's all I have. It's continuously being filled, okay? So you don't need a huge thing. You just need uh, adequate enough um, capacity to handle the amount of livestock that you're trying to water, okay? So anyway, just wanted to put this out there. Um, you know, with these disasters that we've been having, I'm sure it's in the back of all of our minds. I know I've been, you know, looking at my own property uh, with uh, new eyes and thinking, okay, could that happen here? What would happen here if, um, if we had the kind of rain, the deluge that they had over east of here in North Carolina um, and... Uh, in Tennessee and Georgia and Florida did I forget any South Carolina Georgia I think I said Georgia anyway um, you know it, op it opens their eyes it could a disaster can happen anywhere so praying for all those who were affected um, I'm sorry I cannot help physically right now um, or monetarily but you know what? If something comes up down the road, I'm sure you're going to be needing help for months, if not years, yet. So, take care, everybody. Remember those who, who are suffering. This is Mom Mitchell with Holly Hello Homestead. Talk to you all later.